Welcome back. Uh, big news, as you can see, I have a cab on a frame. It, uh, it's not bolted down, but I set it on just so I can measure uh, frame brackets, uh, how the body's actually going to mount. A uh, couple things I'll show you is, as you can see, let me get in here, that's the rear mount of the cab, which is sp almost spot on from the 80. It is, the hole is a half an inch on each side. So for this mount, I plan on uh, the hole where the bolt goes through, weld that shut. Uh, figure out exactly where this needs to go and re-drill from the bottom up to bolt that down and That takes care of two and then moving up to the next mount is Or moving up to the next mount here is as you can see this one does not line up uh, Where it should there's the bolt and there's the mount so I will have to cut that mount off and probably just going to make an all new one and move it up to a little bit more to the left and we'll have to extend it a little bit to make that one work. And then moving on to where the inner fender is going to mount to somewhere in this vicinity. But right now, uh, this nasty thing, the shock tower is too high on an 80 series for this to fit over that. So I am going to have to cut a little bit here. I will, I will save that for another day. Uh, I'm actually, so my kind of time frame in here is two. Uh, I'm waiting on motor mounts still, and before I actually weld any brackets to the frame that hold the body down, I want to make sure the motor goes in first. That way, if the cab has to move back any, um, I can do that. But I don't think it will, just um, I need to measure the how far the engine is away from the firewall on this one compared to how it's mounted and then make sure I'm the same distance here uh, I like my I like my space on the 80 um, the few other people that I know that have done it theirs are slightly different but we're all within one inch um, it all depends on if I can reuse these without having to cut these out I think my motor mounts on the 80 were drop-ins here to adapt the engine so we'll come up to that when I when I see that issue but uh, right now I'm actually going to fix a couple practice my welding skills on some easy stuff like um, fix that bend that back out so I can actually mount my booster or test fit it and then I want to uh, cut these things out this weekend get rid of the surface rust and I'm not going to cut these out until the body's mounted because that's going to be a big hole and I don't want it all kind of going wonky on me I want to have it in place and then start cutting out stuff that may need some structure same with the rockers the rockers I'm going to have to cut the whole thing out I want to make sure it's bolted in right and then one other thing so I thought about stretching the frame but I don't think I'm gonna have to. Uh, measuring right now, as you can see, I have my tape measure here. So, giving myself, I don't know, like an inch there is what I think, I don't know, the standard is between a bed, a cab in the back of the bed, and then going down to the end. As you can see, I am six foot six, right at the end here. And that's perfect because a six and a half foot bed or a tray back is, I think, easy to come by. 
Um, I know like Ford has a six and a half foot bed, so any kind of tray back for them would need to match that. So I'm looking good uh, for that. Um, another thing I did is I picked up a, uh, where is it now? Um, there's the 80 series case that I'll be using, but I also picked up a freebie over here. So I have two NV4, or sorry, two uh, 80 series cases. Um, there is the transmission, and then there is the four wheel drive. Tail housing for the NV4500 will, will adapt to here. So I need to make the adapter bolt on here, or no, actually, Sorry, the adapter will bolt onto that tail housing and then I will be able to bolt this onto the adapter. So that's where I'm at. I also picked up um, these Pelican cases, which picked up two of them, property of TSA. They are, got them at the government surplus here in town, um, 100 bucks pop. I thought they'd actually work great for one, I will be transforming into a toolbox for the back of the truck on the flatbed. Nice water tight and they're huge. So I think they'll look good bolted down to the tray. And what else do I have for you guys today? Nothing much. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get to welding here and we'll uh, see how that goes. Alright, so I have started welding finally and I realized I am a real shitty welder. Um, started here. Um, I got, had that one was cracked. Weld that up. Still need to bang out the dent, but that'll hold the booster just fine. Uh, and then I cut out, get some light here, uh, cut out the roll bar that was on this side and when I was grinding down the bottom part, um, found a nice little soft spot. So I had to patch that and then I just kept burning through it and had to run welds up here to cover the holes and I finally got the last pinhole uh, welded up. But, um, so I am going to run a roll bar in here because I would like to drive with the top down. If the top comes off, I'm taking it off. Um, so I think I will run a plate all the way across, bolted to the body, and then maybe bolt it from the other side down to the frame, and then the hoop come up like this and uh, come across to the windshield and down here somewhere. Maybe. Uh, everything sounds great right now, but when it comes down to it, eh, you know. But got that stupid roll bar out of the way. And little by little. I mean, that took me the better part of an hour dicking around with that. So this is going to be a slow process. So there you go. Um, that's it for today. Uh, yeah, so see y'all next time.